Happy Tuesday to you. I'm Ross Dimite right now with your 13 Action News Update. The Nevada King, uh, Gaming Control Board is looking at what it's going to take to reopen casinos across the state. At today's workshop meeting, they say it really boils down to three things. Testing people, protecting people, and the ability to handle another surge. Meanwhile, the Culinary Union is weighing in on that workshop saying, quote, to protect casino workers on the front line against COVID-19, we need to give them all the tools they need, and we are demanding the highest standard of public health and safety protections. The union calling for transparency and for casinos to follow the union's health guidelines for workers they released last month. COVID-19 testing is ramping up at prisons across the state of Nevada. Yesterday and today, the Department of Corrections says they have been testing every inmate and staff member at High Desert State Prison. And then tomorrow, they will send out 5,000 tests to facilities across the state. Intense heat is the weather story for the rest of the week. Temperatures today topping out near 100 degrees will stay clear and quiet three or Tuesday evening with calm wind. But temperatures not seeing real, really much relief overnight into tomorrow morning will just drop to the mid to upper 70s. 107, 108, that's what we have to look forward to, if you will, Wednesday and Thursday. An excessive heat warning goes into place starting Wednesday morning, lasting through Friday evening. Temperatures just a degree or so shy of records each day and about 15 degrees above the seasonal average will drop to the low 100s heading into the weekend. All right, Danny, thanks. That was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com. Thanks so much for making 13 Action News a part of your day.